out. Bing, bam, boom, blah. We're done. We're good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a tag video. I wanted to do something that gives you guys a little bit of an inside look into my life and share a little bit of my story about being here on YouTube. So we're gonna jump right into the first question. Let's do this. How long have you been on YouTube? I have actually been making videos since 2008. It's always remained a space that I love and that I find inspiration in. And I am still following some of the same people on YouTube that I started watching back in 2008. But when I did it back then, I was just like a military wife. My husband was always gone. I was bored, I was lonely. I wanted something to do, so I started a channel. And the content has always just kind of been all over the place. But recently, it has become a priority of mine to try and create higher quality videos. And I wanna do more like productions and give videos of more value. So I have been on for a really long time, but my channel is kind of always shedding its skin and blossoming into something new. So we will see where it goes from here. At what point do you think you will stop? see myself ever stopping YouTube. I mean, I've been at it this long. I feel like YouTube is a space where you can do so much with it. It's a platform where you can really get a message out or share what you love. And so as I grow into different stages of my life and different stages in my business and just grow as a woman, as a mother, as a wife, I think that content will change for everybody that you watch on YouTube, but I don't, as long as it is the space to come for videos, I don't see myself quitting. There's too much good to be done here on the big old interwebs of YouTube. What is the best thing about YouTube? Oh, goodness. Oh. Like I said, I've been watching since 2008, so clearly YouTube pulls me in and has locked me in. No, you know what, I'd say the best thing about YouTube is you guys just reading your comments and seeing that you not only follow me on YouTube, but you follow me over to Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and we have conversations and I love having this platform, having this network of people that I can discuss and kind of share my fears or if I feel like there's something I'm good at or that I enjoy talking about, I could share that with you guys and find people with similar interests and passions. So I would say there's a ton of great things about YouTube too, but you guys are my number one. What is the worst thing about YouTube and what do you do to make it okay? I don't want to give this answer, but it seems to be the most obvious and the one that kind of pops up in your head when you read that question. And that is obviously the hate in the comment section. And it's not so much the fact that people come and leave nasty comments because I can take that. I am a grown woman. I'm secure in myself and what I believe in. But it's it's knowing that people like take your words and turn it into something else or they don't know who you are as a person but they try to judge you based on off of one video or one thing you said and it's hard because I'll get a lot of comments like on uh, Beachbody related videos and people will be like oh this girl's trying to sell us she thinks I'm stupid and I'm just like if you know anything about me, if you've followed me for any given amount of time on any of my social networking sites, you would know that my intentions are pure. I share everything. I'm completely transparent. I have showed you guys my stretch marks, my um, cellulite. I have shared my stories of depression and anxiety. I have told you guys anytime I feel like I'm not good enough, I've shared stories of um, you know, struggling with being a parent. I have shared tons and tons and tons of content, fitness related, health related for free. But when you know that you're really out to do good and your intention is the world just to spread love and light and people turn it into something else, it's a little bit heartbreaking, but we don't let it get to us. We know who we are, we're confident in who we are, and that is all we need, girlfriends. Don't listen to hate. How many thumbnail options do you take? I'm pretty um, good about this. I usually just, I'll put the camera on like automatic photo and it takes 10. I usually do that one or two times and I have a thumbnail. It's not, I mean, it's not all that stressful for me, but maybe that's why I'm not popular because I just don't give a sh YouTuber crush. I don't have a crush. I'm trying to think like, if I had to say like a woman crush, it would definitely be Jaclyn Hill. I just want that girl to be my BFF and I want her to do my makeup and dye my hair red and 
Like, I just feel like when I follow her on Snapchat, I'm just like, yes, girl, yes, I get it, I get it. We need to be best friends now, please. But, you know, I'm not creepy or anything. Just, she's my crush, I guess, if I had to pick somebody. Who's on your collab wish list? So obviously, as you can see on this channel, I haven't done a whole lot of collab. I'm not against him, but I find that because I'm so busy and I'm doing so many different projects, it's really hard to link up with somebody who's kind of in a similar zone as you and just make your schedules work and make the videos come together. I want to do it in the future with tons of people, but I just haven't had the time quite yet to get it done. What are you wearing on your bottom half? I am wearing shorts that Probably, I'm probably wearing a belt and they probably aren't buckled. Oh, they are buckled, that's a surprise. Just shorts. I'm actually dressed, I know, big surprise. How long until you actually click record? I do that pretty quick as well. I'm not somebody who sits in front of the camera and is like, oh, my hair, let me fix my makeup. I obviously don't think, take things too seriously, so I start the camera and I start filming and we get this done, so we're in and out. Bing, bam, boom. Blom. We're done. We're good. How do you feel about the YouTube community slash culture? I love the YouTube community. I have not ran into anything that has been a negative experience for me. Um, I have gone to Playlist Live. I have met other creators. I feel like certain genres of videos are a lot more competitive, which I don't understand because I was just thinking about it the other day, like there are so many people that are popular and people like I was searching videos yesterday and I ran across girls that had, you know, a million subscribers or two million subscribers and I didn't even know they existed because you hear about a certain group of girls usually, they kind of come in stages and if anybody's been watching for a long time you know what I'm talking about. I don't understand why there would be any animosity. And I'm all about the peace and the love. I spend a lot of time talking to other YouTubers and I love YouTube and I love to watch it. So it's nothing but a positive space for me. Is your secret to a successful YouTube channel? Well, I only have like close to 9,000 subscribers. So I wouldn't say it's successful um, when you compare it to like big channels, but it's successful for me because I'm happy with what I have now. I really just think when it comes to YouTube, if you are doing something that you're passionate about or something that you are highly skilled at, you can't go wrong because there will always be somebody who is looking for you. I, To me, this is success. It's just doing what I enjoy and talking to you guys and sharing and being happy. So just do that. Just start a channel about something you're passionate about and go for it. And who do you tag? I don't have any specific channel names, but I'm gonna tag a bunch of girls that I communicate with in a little Facebook group for YouTubers. I'm gonna tag all of them, and when I get their channel links, I will link them all down below for you guys to check out. Support the smaller channels, get these videos out, share, help them out. And that is it, I never talked about like the behind the scenes of YouTube, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and until the next video, I will see you later. Bye.